like that. Come on, guys. Let's show you how we do this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Michaela, and today is really exciting because I'm gonna be reacting to Mac Miller's album called Circles. I'm not sure if you guys would know this here on YouTube, but I am a huge, huge, huge Mac Miller fan, and I have been for a really long time now. So uh, he's one of my favorite rappers, and I was so, so, so sad uh, to hear about his passing and what had happened and just everything. I love swimming, I love Divine Feminine, Good I Am was really cool. I slept on that one for a bit, but I actually got into it and I really liked it. Um, and then watching with the sound off. And then I even listened, I've been listening to all his really old stuff too. And uh, yeah, just overall, I think he's an amazing artist. The way that he has evolved in his music and shown his growth in his music and also just like his personality and how like funny and stuff he is. I really like how that all comes through in his sound. So uh, everything that he's ever done, I am a fan of. And I'd say that the Divine Feminine is probably still my absolute favorite uh, but yeah if you follow me on Instagram you would definitely know that I'm a fan so uh, today I am so so excited to actually finally listen to Circles I've been putting this off I was actually gonna film this video last night but I was so tired after work that I decided not to and I literally just went to bed so I got up this morning, it's Saturday, and uh, I was gonna film the video and finally take a listen. I haven't listened to anything on the album, including the single that they dropped before the 17th, so I'm very excited to finally listen to it, uh, and I hope that I don't get emotional. Uh, okay, I have my computer here. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm such a huge Mac fan and swimming was literally my heart. It was so it was so beautiful. Uh, all the sounds from that that album did make me cry. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's get into it now. I know that this album was something he was working on uh, when after swimming and uh, just before he died so uh, the concept was that he would be completing swimming with circles and it would be called like swimming in circles like that was the creative concept Wow so he's talking about yeah every time he goes he just ends up right back to where he started like going in a circle and in so many ways like that's very relatable so that was really pretty it's just very slow very melodic and yeah something to vibe to but I don't know I like I like his music uh, he does a lot of sad music I guess uh, what is that one it goes um, album filled with all sad songs but this one that we can laugh on get a Mac 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 <laughs> so the next song the next song is called complicated I feel some jazzy vibes on here for sure. My head is getting pretty cluttered. I like the little background voice. Cluttered, cluttered. Mm, yeah. This one's called Blue World. It's like a sample from something. Oh yeah. Kissing no baby, she's ever lost. <laughs> so shady, mm, no 
Oh, I like this one. <laughs> like a video game, yeah. <laughs> I liked that. I liked um, Blue World. I thought that one was really cool. It sounded somewhat like a like a retro Christmas song type beat, and then it threw in like the video game stuff at the end. Sonically, I thought it was really cool, and I just like the way that Matt vibe with that. Like I could pick up the words in no time to that hook, and uh, yeah, it was cool. This one's called Good News, and I believe this is one that they had released before the album. So uh, I actually haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. Do a little spring cleaning. I'm always too busy dreaming. Good news, good news, Oh, that's pretty. Wow. No, they don't like it when I'm down. Yeah. He's singing, yeah. The guitar in this reminds me of, like, um, that Toy Story song. I don't know why. You got a friend in me. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Wow, so that was good news. Wow, that's a nice song. Um, I feel like it's very relatable. I feel, I felt that. I felt that. So uh, yeah, okay. Next is called I Can See. So close I can taste it. The men on the moon keep playing. Run low. If life is blind. That's from a childhood song, right? Life is but a dream. The boat song. Wow. I think of like it's a small world or something, a Disney world. Why am I getting like Disney vibes? Hey, it's like a very slow vibe. Like I'd literally have to just be like chilling. Like this is not like a hype up kind of album, of course. Um, that one was that one was really pretty. And like I said, it gives me like that idea of that childhood song. Row, row, row your boat. Yeah, that one, Life is But a Dream. And then, for whatever reason, sonically, I think of like It's a Small World from Disney World. I don't know, but yeah, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, this one's called Everybody. Everybody's gotta love. Everybody's gonna die. Huh? Everybody's got just can't, just can't get enough. It has that bluesy feel to it. Very like slow bluesy kind of feel to it. This song is called Woods Now. Okay, so there's parts of that song, like when he starts rapping more or he gets into it where I feel like, okay, this is really cool, but then there's really slow like ebbs and flows in it. I really do think that the words are very meaningful and when he slows it down, you can really listen to what he's saying. Uh, and it, a lot of it is actually really relatable. So that's, you know, very beautiful in and of itself. Next song is called Hand Me Downs. He's 
<laughs> rapping like he did on swimming. There's a song on there that sounds like this rhythm. <laughs> this kind of flow. <laughs> sounds like the washing machine or something at the end. Oh my god. That one was a nice one. I would listen to that a lot actually. Okay, next one is called That's On Me. Okay, next one is called Hands. Whoa, this is different. I like this one a lot. Don't know why I'm always talking if I'm not making sense. Ooh. Pretty. <laughs> Ooh. Eh? Ooh. I still like that. Yeah, it was cool. This one's called Sir. Okay, but there's so many childhood references in this album. Does anyone else notice that? Head and shoulders, knees and toes, that's a childhood song too. So we're at the end of the album now. The last song is called Once a Day. Once a day I fall asleep with you While we taking our time Yeah, yeah Maybe I can hide Once a day I try but I can't find a single word Wow Overall, I think like it's such a it's such a meaningful project because it was something that he was working on right before he had passed away and then his family had released it for him a couple of years later now i do have to say that sonically i did catch on to swimming quicker the first time i listened to it uh now this is only my first time listening to it so i might get into tracks more as i play it again uh but right off the bat i really loved uh circles Blue World, Good News, and Hands. Those were my top four songs, uh, just on the first listen, so that's what I really liked about the album. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing it again and diving into it a little deeper. I did catch things like there was a lot of childhood references, uh, so he was referring to you know, Life is But a Dream from like that Row Your Boat song. Uh, even sonically, I felt little things like uh, there was a Toy Story kind of guitar. I don't know like why that came to mind. Uh, I thought of Toy Story and then I thought of like It's a Small World from Disney World. Also, uh, another song that he references, he says head and shoulders, knees and toes, something like that. And that's also a song from childhood. So yeah, there's definitely some like younger references there and how he's pulling in like all the things like um, the thoughts in his head, how he's like, you know, his own enemy, his own um, thing that's getting in the way. Yeah, I think that honestly, this is just a beautiful project that was released on his behalf and I'm really happy that they put it out into the world and they let the fans listen to it. Uh, I really, really enjoyed listening to it and uh, if you guys listen to it and are a big Mac Miller fan as well, let me know down in the comments what your favorite song was and uh, what you liked about the album. Uh, I can't wait to hear your feedback and uh, thanks for watching today, guys. If you want to join, hashtag The Pink Life, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.